Hello, we are the channel, Vamos para Portugal. We have prepared a series of step-by-step -step videos on how a Brazilian retiree can immigrate legally and without hassle to Portugal. If you are an elderly person like us and are thinking about immigrating to Portugal, know that Portugal is currently the country most chosen by Brazilians who decide to live in Europe, whether for the quality of life, feeling of security, ease with the language or proximity with other European Union countries. After a lot of planning, research and expectations, we arrived in Portugal for a two-month period of prospecting and on-site evaluation of the regions and cities discussed in one of our previous videos, where we identified the best regions for housing in Portugal. We recommend that you check out this content on our channel to better understand our criteria. Our focus in these two months will be to experience the day-to-day -day life of living in a Portuguese city with a European experience of life, but also taking the opportunity to have an occasional tourist experience. In the previous video we commented on our arrival in Portugal and the first week in the city of Porto. Also check out this video as we dedicated our first week to settling in the city and sightseeing without commitment. In the following weeks we began to dedicate part of our stay to getting to know some of the cities identified previously, whether by subway or train and even renting a car for longer and longer trips. Firstly, we will present our impressions of the city of Porto. If you are thinking about immigrating to Portugal and are an older person looking for a pleasant place to live, the city of Porto offers a number of charming neighborhoods to consider. The city has a traditional architecture with typical facades covered in tiles and straight windows being preserved, even with the renovation of properties for updating. This maintains the Portuguese atmosphere and intensifies the feeling of being in a traditional European city. The Porto metropolitan region has an excellent transport structure with six metro lines, linked to buses and trains. For just 30 euros per month, the Andante monthly ticket for seniors allows unlimited travel, covering Porto and 16 neighboring cities during the period. We understand that to live in the city of Porto it is not mandatory to purchase a car, and longer journeys in the city can be made by Uber or Bolt, and short trips to other states can be made using rented cars. Some neighborhoods in the city of Porto stood out in our evaluation. We have prepared a brief summary. The Cidafita neighborhood is very close to the heart of the city, with easy access by metro and bus and is part of the Unio de Freguesias do Centro Histórico. Rua de Cidafita is a promenade with famous shops and restaurants and is within walking distance of well-known spots such as Igreja do Carmo, Livraria Lelo and Torre dos Clarigos. The rental cost varies, but with affordable options. A furnished one-bedroom apartment costs between 650 and 1,200 euros per month. All of our research was carried out on the idealista.point website and should only be considered as references of magnitude. The Paranjos neighborhood is 4 kilometers from the center, with easy access by metro and bus, with among its attractions the University of Porto, Hospital de São João and green spaces such as Parque do Covalo. It is also close to shopping Alameda and Estadio do Dragueo. The rental cost is more affordable compared to the center. A furnished T1 apartment costs between 700 and 1,200 euros per month. The Bonfim neighborhood is also very close to the city center, with easy access by metro and bus. Nearby we have the Campania station, an intermodal terminal with trains, subways and buses. Rents are higher. A furnished T1 apartment costs between 800 and 1,200 euros per month. Finally, in the city of Porto, we have the Miragueia neighborhood, located in the historic center and a short walk from many tourist attractions such as the Ribeira region, the Dom Luis Primero Bridge, the Mercado do Bolheo, Ruas das Flores and many museums and historical points. Walking through this region conveys the feeling of living in traditional Portugal, with its characteristic architectural style and its ancient and charming urban landscape. From the center we have easy access to the Porto metropolitan region via six metro lines as well as urban and interstate trains. The rental cost varies greatly in this region and can be higher due to its privileged location. A furnished T1 apartment costs between 900 and 1,300 euros per month. These are just some of the most interesting neighborhoods in the city of Porto. Choosing the ideal neighborhood for you will depend on your personal preferences, budget and needs. We recommend visiting neighborhoods in person before making a decision. Portugal is known for its hospitality and rich culture, making it an attractive destination for retirees looking for a new experience in quality of life. We hope our observations have been useful in helping you explore the options available in the city of Porto. 
Subscribe to our channel for more information and tips about the immigration process for a retiree to Portugal. So what? Let's go to Portugal? We already went in 2023, and we will definitely return in 2024.